Hi, it's Ron with Bat Caddy Tech Support. This video will explain to you how to go about troubleshooting your electrical system on your Bat Caddy electric cart. First, let's understand what makes up the electrical system. There are basically four components. A battery with battery lead. The wire connects to the controller, which is the primary microprocessor. And then a wiring cable from that controller up to the circuit board with the power switch in the handle. If the cart can't power up at the start, or power turns off while playing, or the cart starts to respond erratically, it has to be one of these four items. Most likely, it is either the battery or the controller. Here are your troubleshooting steps. First, confirm the battery is okay. The battery is a 12 volt, deep cycle, direct current battery. When new, it will charge to about 13.8 volts. The battery loses voltage the entire time you're running the cart. You'll need at least 12 volts to power up the cart or keep it powered up. The questions you ask, how long since the last charge? Did it appear the charger worked properly? What's the age of the battery? Did you have an accident with the battery? All these are concerns. The best measurement of capacity is to measure voltage with a voltmeter and read the voltage output. If you ruled out the battery, next look at the controller. It is the most sophisticated electrical component on the cart and the most likely problem. Many things can cause it to fail. The one most likely is water, and it is one you can possibly correct. The controller is sealed to prevent water from getting directly onto the controller. However, it does have venting to allow heat to escape. Thus, water vapor can get inside. And if it condenses on the circuit boards, it will block the controller from receiving signal. If you think this may be the problem, you should first try to dry the controller out before replacing it. The controller sets directly under the battery tray in its own separate compartment. Take the lid off the compartment, exposing the controller, and with a hairdryer on low heat or just sunlight, dry it out. Then try to start your cart again. If drying out the controller is unsuccessful, the controller is definitely bad and will need to be replaced. Next, check the connecting wire from the battery that plugs into the cart. We call this the battery lead. We all have had situations where the cart tips over. When that happens, often the battery falls off the cart, ripping the lead out of its connection on the cart. This has a great potential to damage the three-prong connector or wires that plug into the cart. This is the reason we inform you not to screw the plug into the cart. So if an accident, the plug pulls right out, hopefully with less or no damage. Next, check the circuit board in the handle. It's least likely to be a problem. If there is an issue, it is the wires running from the controller to the handles pulled out of the circuit board. This can happen when you fold the cart for storage or put the cart into the trunk of a car. Also, it could be moisture, especially if the mylar faceplate on the handle is cracked or missing. Finally, the circuit board could just fail. Another note, on the X3 series, when you fold the cart for storage, the cable wires are exposed at the open hinge. Opening the cart back up, you must be careful not to pinch or cut the wires that were exposed. Finally, if this is unsuccessful in determining your problem, call Bat Caddy Tech Support, and a technician will help you.